Hello, my name is Pastor Andy Schreier from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Do you consider yourself to be a glasses half empty or glasses half full type of person? We use that expression to distinguish between those who look at the world positively and those who look at it negatively. Glasses half empty type of people are the Eeyores of the world. They notice every pain and problem. When challenges come, they slump their shoulders in disgust and say it figures. They look to, ahead to the future with dread, worried about all the negative things that could possibly happen in their lives. Glasses half full type of people see the good, even in the bad. They see the silver linings. They consider challenges to be opportunities to grow. They look ahead to the future with joyful anticipation. Now, God has made each of us different. Some people by nature have a more positive disposition. Others naturally tend to be yours. The nature of faith, however, is to look to the future with confidence. The nature of faith is to rejoice even in the sufferings. The nature of faith is to see the silver linings God has drawn on the the dark clouds of our lives. Now, that doesn't mean that as Christians we naively look at the world through rose-colored glasses. We recognize the presence of evil in our world. We experience pain. We struggle with sin. But we also know God's promises that he will make all things, even the struggles and heartaches, work out for our eternal good. We know that God has plans we cannot even begin to fathom, plans to, to prosper us and not to harm us, as the prophet Jeremiah says in, in Jeremiah 29. We know that no matter what happens to us here on earth, we have a home waiting for us in the glory and perfection of heaven through faith in Jesus. So if you struggle with negativity and depression, God has help for you. When we find ourselves in the dark place of depression, the devil tries to get us to put on blinders. To, when, we, when we put on blinders, all we see are, are the negative things in our lives. All we see are, are the problems. A friend of mine who was a mental health care counselor once gave me a wonderful tool to help remove those blinders. He said to take a notebook and place it by your bed. Every night before you go to bed, write down one blessing, one good thing in your life from that day. The only catch is you can never repeat it. It always has to be something different. And what naturally happens as the days turn into weeks, as your list fills lines and, and, and entire notebooks, is that you begin to see that even in the middle of the pains and problems, God has given you many good things. Even if you are struggling financially, look at all the stuff you have. Even if you feel lonely, look at all the people God has placed in your life. Even if you have health problems, look at all the things that are going right in your body. And then remember how God forgives you every mess up and mistake. Remember how he make, promises to make even the dark clouds work out for your good. Remember his promise of how wonderful heaven is going to be. And then you won't see the glass as half empty. In fact, you won't even see it as half full. Then you'll realize that your cup is overflowing.